So today is the Sunday um, and I am about to cook. So we're going to call this segment experimenting in the kitchen with Melody because I don't really know what I'm doing, but we're going to try out some things. Um, you know, I'm half Puerto Rican, so um, I grew up eating a lot of Puerto Rican food, but living in Louisiana, none of my Puerto Rican family is here, so I've decided to go ahead and try to teach myself um, following recipes, basically, um, of how to cook a little something. So I'm going to make sofrito from scratch, well, semi from scratch, um, and I'm going to do just some, um, like a garlic chicken dish, um, not really Puerto Rican, but we're going to try to make it a little bit more Puerto Rican with the seasoning, and then, um, I'm going to do some arroz con grandules, which is basically rice and beans, rice and pigeon peas, um, which was one of my favorite dishes growing up and couldn't wait to always eat it when I got to um, my aunt's house, but um, have not had it in years, but I have found recipes, so we're going to try it and see if I can do it myself. Right. So, uh, yeah, so we're going to do that, and um, I'm watching the... Um, hot chocolate nutcracker directed by the one and only Debbie Allen who is so fabulous and um so that's playing in the background Roxy's running around here somewhere hey Roxy what you doing mama what you doing mama huh what you doing <gasps> oh you running for the camera okay so that's the chicken though we're gonna get to that later but um that's not even for this either but for the sofrito, I'm going to use onion, bell pepper, one of each, but they were on sale three for a dollar, so I just got three. Um, some cilantro and some garlic. Um, so yeah, that's for the sofrito. Um, then we do the chicken, with the garlic chicken. So then for the arroz con grandules, I have the um, rice and that's some olive oil as well for the chicken and for the rice and beans and then I have adobo for the chicken um, some cumin um, bay leaves pigeon peas um, chicken broth for the rice instead of water and a little tomato paste which I'm going to use for the chicken and that and then some yeah I'm just dropping stuff but um the saison so I'm using the um, one with uh, cilantro. We can get started with the sofrito first, then we'll do the chicken, and then we'll start the rice. Okay, so I'm gonna use my, this is actually like my little smoothie maker um, blender thing, because my actual blender um, broke, the like jar part fell and broke. So, um, I'm just going to use this one and so first I'm going to do the onions and the bell peppers and uh, blend that all out and then I'll add the um, garlic and cilantro. Sofrito. It smells delicious. Chicken, which I have cleaned, is um, I'm actually just using drumsticks. Uh, this is what six six drumsticks. It's only two people eating, so it's plenty. And then um, I'm gonna take some adobo with cumin and season it with that. We're gonna use a little minced garlic and our sazon. And we're gonna just mix this all together. Use your fingers. I just coated the bottom of it with some olive oil, just enough to cover the bottom. Okay, so I'm going to transfer the chicken into the pan that's already had the oil nice and warm. So I'm gonna let it cook for a couple of minutes, maybe three to four minutes. Let it start to cook up a little bit and then we're gonna cover it 
and let that cook for a while. I'm gonna start the arroz con tondules and have a hot pan here. And I'm going to add a little olive oil, just enough to coat the bottom of it. And then I'm going to take about a tablespoon of the sofrito. A little bit of the tomato sauce. Oh, another tablespoon. Let that cook a little bit. And we're going to add in the saison and some cumin. So next I'm going to add the chicken broth. Um, I use a little bit more than a half, a uh, cup and a half. I'm using a cup and a half of rice. So I added about one fourth more. Um, so it was right at about, um, it's actually just one can, but it was right at a, a cup and three fourths. Okay, now that it's got a nice simmer to it, I'm gonna add the rice and the pigeon peas. Uh, similar to regular rice making, if you know how to make rice in a pot, which is the only way I know how to make rice in a pot, is to let it um, let the liquid boil up a bit and cook down just a bit, and then we'll cover it and let it simmer um, just like you would regular rice. So for the extra sofrito that I had left, I put in these little um, to-go things that come from Glad. It's usually for like obviously small items like this, but I'm gonna um, put pop these in the freezer so I can use them later. So I just checked on the rice and it's still cooking. I added a little bit of water to it because um, I tasted the rice and it was still a little hard. So added just a little bit more water um, and turned the heat up a little bit to let that cook. All right guys, so the food is done. Oh, and I just did a little taste test. Oh my God, it took me back like to Christmas um, with my family in California. Mm. So good. Oh, it smells so good. Mm. So, now it's time to eat. <laughs>